Hi, my name is Juan. I'm a mental fitness practitioner based in Singapore. Today, I would like to share what I have learned about mental fitness as a practitioner. Before I share, let's be clear on a medical disclaimer. I'm not a health professional. The information shared in this sharing is meant for educational purpose only. If you need medical advice, diagnosis or treatment, please consult a medical professional. I and my partners are not liable for risk and issue associated with using the information in this sharing. Alright, let's dive in. First, I will share about what is mental fitness, the reasons, our supper tour, what are some ways that we stop ourselves, and then the three tips I've learned in my journey as a mental fitness practitioner, an action plan, for your consideration and last but not least a few words of encouragement in this sharing when I say mental fitness I refer to a definition by wishout.com a person mental fitness indicates their ability to think clearly and to make decisions efficiently and effectively. For me, two phrases stand out. Mental fitness is about thinking clearly and to make decisions. Why? Why the focus on mental fitness? To me, Mental fitness is like physical fitness. It's a very important component of our overall health and fitness. Therefore, uh, it is normal to focus on the mental side of the fitness. And secondly, we are in the third year working with COVID-19. I'm sure we have observed many changes. Many of them, many are drastic and shift. So, therefore, we need to develop abilities to think clearly and to make decisions even with major changes. Before I share the three tips, I would like to highlight a model proposed by Shusha Shemin in his book, Positive Intelligence. How we stop ourselves or sabotage ourselves. There are nine uh, saboteurs. Everyone will have one or few saboteurs as a dominant saboteurs. And there are nine um, for example, the first one is high achiever. They are focused on results only. Therefore, sometimes they judge themselves very harshly. Second one is hyper rational. Their emphasis is on facts and logic, and therefore may be hard to emotionally relate to others. That is hybrid vigilant. Their focus is about what could go wrong. Therefore, that may block them from experimenting. Fourth is avoider, avoiding making tough decisions. That may also stop them. Fifth is controller. They will let everything work according to their plan or preference. That may also affect corruption. Six is pleaser. They find comfort 
by following others or conform to others norm seven is restless they always look for the next excitement therefore um, they are not able to spend a long period in something that is important for them eight is stickler they want everything to be perfect and this may stop them from experimenting. Nine is victim. They don't take ownership. They consider all the consequences to be the result of others' action. If you like to know what are some of your dominant saboteurs, there's a link I share in this link called Saboto Test and based on my experience uh, our Sabotors are not static as we learn and grow some other Sabotor may be more dominant as we move forward and here is the three tips I would like to share with you on mental fitness. The first is regain awareness. Second, pause. Third, moving forward. And this underlying assumption, we are whole. That means we are not having health-related challenges. And what do mean? I mean weekend events. I'm sure we're all aware of ourselves. And there are moments where the thoughts control us and to think clearly we need to shift away from the current thinking temporary at least there are many ways to shift from the current thinking and I'm sharing three ways based on different learning style the first one is visual practice by observing a favorite photo of us we may be able to shift from the current thinking and secondly is about using auto center listen carefully a sound or a noise that also helps us to shift from the current thinking Third is kinesthetic. It's about observing the feeling of the finger rubbing on each other or on the palm. That also help us to shift away from the current thinking. Once we are able to shift away from the current thinking, and regain our awareness. The next tip I want to share is pause. And the pause is not just about being quiet, emotional. It's letting our voice come up or helping us to be aware of our inner voice. This may take a few seconds to a few minutes. Then, let's talk about making decision. By moving forward, I would like to share five sage power. Share in the book Positive Intelligence. There are five. The first one is empathy. Seeing the situation from 
others or your perspective. I want to share an example like you have challenge thinking about where to go for lunch. Using the empathy power, you may think that you are a period of busyness. Maybe you accept where you are and just have a simple lunch. Second, explore. Explore what you may not used to or you may not um, familiar with a child using the previous example where to go for lunch maybe if you always visit a store or a place maybe what are the choices surrounding the places where you have visited often just like a child wandering around the neighborhood the power is innovation thinking out of the box using the previous example if you used to having lunch in a period what about making the lunch earlier or later or trying different style of food and I'm sure you heard of an uh, idea called intermittent fasting where we concentrate eating on a period of time. There are a few ideas. Fourth, navigate. Imagine you were wiser. What? Do you see the current challenge? Like, where to go for lunch? Maybe it's about having balanced meal. Fifth is activate. In this power, we focus on the action and less about our saboteur. For example, like the previous case but if we focus on the journey of having lunch rather than the, the thought in us <laughs> right how would we practice the three tips let me propose uh, an action plan you can use your favorite current system, create three events for every day, morning, afternoon, and evening. The first focus is having the three event and not having one event, three events, sorry, in one go. In each event, go to the three steps. Use a practice to regain your awareness. Sit with you for a few seconds to a few minutes. Pause. Then ask yourself this question. In the next few hours, what might you try using the power in focus? And the power I refer to are the five sage power. And for a particular reason, you can pick every day different power or every day different power. Here it is an action plan for your consideration. Last but not least, this sharing is for information only. If you need more help, please see from medical professional you are whole you deserve help from others thank you